This is a chart presentation of Breckford Corp. It's a bolt and board list company trading our ticker BFDI. Just look at a one-year chart. See it's had a pretty good fall from around 75 cents all the way down to 35. But the stock price has recovered pretty nicely, floating somewhere around the middle now. But some price movement on Thursday pushed the stock price back over top of the 50-day moving average and put a little distance between the price per share and the 200-day moving average. So this chart's going to go on radar to see if the upward pressure is going to continue, try and break out of this little wedge it's in, and see if it's going to go up and push on some resistance right around 58 cents. Let's see the MACD getting hints from the histogram that a bullish cross may be coming. Of course, on any retrace, I like to see the MACD hold over top of zero. It's basically a benchmark area between bullishness and bearishness. And retracements aren't a bad thing, but when they do happen, I like to see the MACD hold over top of zero to signal that the trend is trying to stay on the bullish side of things. It's a very similar look to the PPO. ADX is down low, registering underneath 10, showing there's not a lot of strength in any direction at this point. For heavily traded stocks, I really look for a reversal off the 10 mark. But this is a pretty thinly traded stock, so I don't look for necessarily such a knee-jerk reaction. But the point being that it is down very low right now. In the near term, I would look for it to turn up a little bit and start to add some strength to a direction. Money flow index, all three components have moved their way back over top of 50, signaling that people are starting to pay higher prices for the stock over the average periods. This, of course, is a very nice look to the accumulation distribution. A year now of trending upward, showing strong accumulation in the play. That's reiterated by this shake in money flow. Very little time in the red. Says that over 20-day periods, buying pressure has been outweighing selling pressure. CCI floating right around the middle, registering just above zero. Of course, technically the buy point comes on the break of 100 for the CCI. Full stochastics, a gauge of momentum. Holding over top of 50 is bullish. Over top of 80 indicates very strong momentum. You can see registering right around a 60 now. The bulls have apparently taken a little bit of control of momentum at this point. Tricks, slow lagging indicator. I basically read it like the MACD. It's a gauge of trend. I want to see it hold over top of zero to maintain a bullish look. RSIs, they're a gauge of momentum. It's pretty clear cut for me. Over top of 50 is where I want to see it. Indicates there's sustained bullish momentum in the play. Now from a candle standpoint, as I mentioned, I like to see the price per share over top of the 50 and 200 day moving averages. It's a definite sign of strength. You can certainly see coming off of these lows. Nice upward trend sustaining higher lows, but I won't discount the fact that it's not making higher highs as well. So from a trend line standpoint, I'd be looking for the price per share to try and push to that 55, 56 cent area to break that downward trend. And from a static resistance standpoint, I'll be looking for the stock to close over 58 cents. See going back historically, that was a support level. Classic TA, support becomes resistance once it's broken. And you can see the stock's never closed above that point once it broke through it, even though it's tried on several occasions. So I'll be looking for a close above the 58 cent point while looking for some support to be held not only from the trend line but also from a static standpoint around 50 cents. Should the stock break through that 58 cent mark, I'd look for some other resistance to come in around 67 cents. And of course top end resistance at 52 week highs at 75 cents. It's a pretty interesting chart though. Looks like it's really trying to take on some bullish pressure. And with the move back above the 50 day, I think it's one worth keeping an eye on to see how it acts if it moves back up and challenges 58 cents. Of course, from a sports standpoint, 50 cent mark must stay intact. There's a good chance the stock's going to come back down, potentially near its 41 cent levels. Those are the type of things that I'd be looking for in the Breckford chart. But as always, it's merely my interpretation. Thank you for watching and trade smart.